Welcome back to Kiwoon. I'm Caleb, and today we'll be going over AMD, the stock that seemingly just won't stop rising. In the past year alone, the stock is up over 55%, and in the past five years, up over 1,000%. With this exponential growth, the question that naturally comes to mind is how fairly is AMD valued? And in this video, I'll be breaking down AMD's business model and going over key factors like fundamentals, growth, and profitability, while also giving a valuation on whether the stock is a buy, hold, or sell. Now let's get right into the video. AMD's business is mainly broken up into two sectors, computing and graphics, and enterprise and semi-custom. And what I think makes so interesting about AMD's business model is that it consistently provides innovation so far and they haven't missed a step. Although their main competitors are huge tech giants like Intel and Nvidia, AMD provides server processors that are a lot cheaper as well as efficient in terms of energy use. Now taking a quick look at AMD's numbers, we see that their profitability, their growth, and their health are all really good, but where they seem to be failing is their valuation. Although their peg ratio is relatively low in the range that we want, the 0 to 1, 0 to 2, we see that their price to earnings and their price to book is more than double the 0 to 20 range that their value investors should be looking at. But high PDE doesn't necessarily mean that a company is overvalued, but maybe that they're just trading at a premium. The high price to book is rather concerning though because it means the overall market sentiment on AMD is that currently it is overvalued. But taking into account that they have over 55% in terms of profitability and return on equity and a three-year EPS of over 100% and projection three-year EPS of over 22%, let's take a look at what AMD is going to be doing in 2022 to back these fundamentals up with future growth projections. And so in this article by Victor Durganov, he states that AMD actually took over part of Intel's market share in terms of taking over 50% in this past year. And as you can see, AMD has been on the rapid rise in the segment from over 20 to 25% just five years ago. And given the company's trajectory, AMD has substantial profitability of becoming the leader in desktop CPU segment. I really like this article because it actually qualifies the fact that the valuation is high. And by here, we can see the EPS estimates that AMD only beats estimates by only 10% in 2023. The company will deliver around $4.40 a share. This EPS figure implies that AMD is trading around 35 times 2023 EPS estimates as of right now. But in terms of revenue, while consensus estimates are $22 billion in 2023, Higher end forecasts imply that the company can deliver north of $24 billion. I know these numbers may seem fictional, but these are explosive figures provided by AMD reported in 2020, Q3, with revenues of only $2.8 billion. And to wrap it up, basically what Victor says is that he expects that AMD will continue to expand sales at 15-20% to annually through 2025, but AMD is trading above their fundamentals. AMD remains an elevated risk slash reward investment and may not be suitable for conservative investors. And I totally agree. For a stock like AMD, you need to remember that your risk tolerance is. And this is extremely risky stock and your high potential to go up may be combated down by the very riskiness in AMD. And with your risk tolerance, even though Intel may be bouncing back and creating more innovative things, I think with your risk tolerance, you could say that AMD is not going anywhere anytime soon. So the stock to be just put in your portfolio is kind of just like that one to two, maybe even 5% stock. This could be a very good buy. Now, just to get some quick technical analysis in, we see here that AMD currently is within their 10 to 50 day moving average. And it seems like they're going to be pouncing off sometime soon. With a stochastic already in that sweet spot, you know, I see that there's going to be really high resistance around that $150 area. But if they get back above their 10-day moving average, I do think they can make this run up to $150 rather quickly. And, you know, if they do the double up, they may be able to break over this $154 and run back up into all-time highs if it's above $160. On the other hand, if the new year decides to go into rather negative and AMD breaks under their 50-day moving average, I do believe we could see a sell... A short sell down to like this 135 area and fundamentally in terms of this technical analysis i think that amd is not going to be going anywhere under 120 125 anytime soon so you could wait for a rather good buy but it does seem like amd is going to be rather ticking out 
But yeah, guys, that's basically all I have right now. I think based on potential growth, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of risk involved, AMD has a lot of room to run. The reasons why AMD stock could fly in 2022, in my opinion, I'll weigh the reasons why it could fall. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Leave any questions in the comments down below, and peace.